So you're probably wondering why I'm holding a plate. No, it's not lunchtime. Well, I mean, technically it's lunchtime, but I'm making this video for you, so I'll eat in a minute. But this tool right here that is cheap and you can buy a whole lot of is one of the most effective things that you can add to your repertoire with strength and conditioning. And stick with me, and I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. So there's a commonly used tool in strength and conditioning called a slider. What they look like is kind of a piece of plastic with a foam pad on top of them. Now they're not terribly expensive, but if we wanted to implement this into an entire gym, an entire team, whole program, then they can get a little pricey when you're buying them one set at a time. Now the slider can be used for a lot of things. We can use it to, to work on upper body strength, lower body strength, core. It's a really, really good tool because it adds a little bit of a sense of instability, uh, which is really great for getting stronger. Now, if we don't want to spend tons and tons of money on sliders, there is another option. Our paper plate. So the paper plate is smooth on the bottom and in a gym with carpet, this slides just as easily as a slider would. And so today we're gonna go over how to do a couple of lunge versions, similar to the video that we showed last time. We talked about mechanics. If you haven't watched that video, click back and watch that because this is gonna be really important. But we're gonna show you how to use one of these paper plates or if you want to invest in one of the fitness sliders, you can use that as well. And we're gonna show you how to use that with your strength and conditioning. Um, and again, testing some of the, the strength and capabilities of your athletes. So if we place our paper plate on the floor, again, it slides around. So it gives us a slick surface. Now how that's beneficial is, if I'm doing a lunge, for instance, and I step forward, everything is stable. So I've got stable surface and stable contact all the way around. Now if I wanna add some instability or I want to challenge stability with this, what I can do is I can use this paper plate to give me a sliding variation of that exercise. So for instance, if I wanted to do a lunge, what I could do is take my paper plate or the slider and put my back leg on it here. Now to slide, I have to put more weight on the front leg so that I'm not slipping and falling on the paper plate. So it takes an extra level of stability. So from here, I would slide my leg back into my lunge and then slide it back up to the front. Now what that causes me to do is use a little bit more hip flexor on this side to pull back up and it takes a lot more stabilizers on this leg to keep me from slipping and falling backwards. So again, super helpful exercise using our paper plate. Now for our side lunge that we also talked about, which again, we step out to the side, our knee tracks over the toe, we go down as low as we can, we step back up, and we go back and forth from that. Now we can also use our paper plate for that, where we take our plate again, less weight here than we typically would put so we don't slip out, and we're gonna lower and slide out, and then slide back up. Now, adding that slider for this side lunge is gonna force our athlete to use their adductors or groin muscles a whole lot to, you know, to build strength there to pull the leg back in. These are typically muscles that are not really utilized a lot by cheer athletes because we spend so much time working on flexibility there because we want to get our jumps to be more flexible higher uh, so we end up neglecting strength in this area. And so by adding this variation in with our side lunges, it now forces our athletes to pull the leg back in versus just allowing it to kind of flip back in. So with the slider, again, be very, very careful if you're gonna use these with some of your conditioning, because again, it's an unsteady surface that can slip out from underneath us. So if you're a coach and you have, uh, you want to implement these into your conditioning, make sure that your athlete is capable of doing the movement without the slider. And then when they start using it, just watch their depth, watch the range of motion that they're using so that they don't get into a precarious situation where their leg may slip out from underneath them and they get hurt. That wouldn't be ideal, right? So grab a bag of paper plates at the dollar store, it doesn't cost too much. And let's start working some of these slider variations with your athletes. It'll really help a whole lot, I promise. Thanks so much for joining me for this video. I'm gonna take my plate and get the dirt off of it and I'm gonna go eat lunch because I'm starving, right? But you go get your plate and start working on these lunge variations. I promise you they're gonna make you better. If you want more videos on how to do things properly, there's gonna be a link right here. And if you haven't subscribed to our video or our, our channel, there's gonna be a link right here. And if you haven't checked out hitzeronutrition.com, it's the only nutrition company in the world for you, for cheer athletes, hit zero, come on. Hit zero, everybody wants to hit zero, right? Check out hitzeronutrition.com and we will see you on the next video.